Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about two-dimensional arrays in Java. Here is the outline. We will see what is a two-dimensional array and how to create one. And after that, we will access the elements of a two-dimensional array. And finally, we will initialize a two-dimensional array. Let's get started. What is a two-dimensional array? Suppose that we have this data over here. It is a table of integers, right? How can we represent this inside the Java? So we want to represent some data that looks like a table or a matrix. So to do this, we can use a two-dimensional array. We will have something like this. We have a variable that references an array of two elements. These elements contains some addresses. The first element contains the address of this array over here, 5231. And as you can see, this is the first row of the table. And the second element contains the address of this array over here. And as you can see, this is the second row of the table. So to represent this table inside the Java, we will have a 2D array that looks like this. It is an array of two elements and each element is an array. And to imagine this array, it looks like this table over here. So a two-dimensional array is a one-dimensional array in which each element is another one-dimensional array. So as you can see, this is a one-dimensional array, right? And each element is a one-dimensional array. Now let's talk about creating a two-dimensional array. Suppose that we want to create this table over here. So we want to create a two-dimensional array. First of all, it is an array of integers. It has five rows, as you can see, and three columns. So first of all, let's declare the variable that will reference this array. We will start by specifying the data type. As I said, this is an array of integers. And now we want to have two dimensions. The first dimension is the number of the rows, and the second one is the number of the columns. So previously, we used one bracket over here, but now we are using two brackets. So this is a two-dimensional array that is called numbers. At this point, it is null, all right? So to create this array inside the memory, we will do something like this. I'm allocating a 2D array of integers with five rows and three columns. So the first bracket is the number of rows and the second one is the number of columns. So now I allocated this data over here. We have five rows and in each row we have three columns. And after allocating this data, I'm assigning the address of this data to the variable numbers. So now this variable references this data over here. So this is our 2D array. And of course, we can do this in one statement. I'm declaring this variable and I'm allocating the data inside the memory. So this is very similar to creating a single dimensional array, but now we are using two brackets instead of one bracket. And remember that the first one is the number of rows and the second one is the number of columns. Now let's talk about accessing the elements of a two-dimensional array. Suppose that our two-dimensional array looks like this. Then of course, we have some indices. The first row index is zero and the second row is one. Similarly, the index of the first column is zero, the second one is one, and so on. So to be able to access an element in this array, we are going to use two indices, the index of the row and the index of the column. And we will do something like this. We will use the name of the array, suppose that it is called numbers, and after that we will open two brackets. The first one will contain the index of the row and the second one, the index of the column. Let's take an example. Suppose that I want to access this element over here. As you can see, this element is in the first row and it is also in the first column. So to access this element, I'm going to say numbers zero, zero. So I want the element in the row zero and the column zero, all right? So number zero, zero will give me the number five. Let's take the number three into consideration. It is in the first row. So the index of the row is zero and it is in the third column. So the index of the column is two. So to access this element, we will say numbers zero, two. Finally, let's take this element into consideration. It is in the second row. So the index of the row is one. And also it is in the fourth column. So the index of the column is a three. So to access this element, we will say numbers one, three, all right? So it is the same as before, but now we are using two indices instead of one. The first index is the index of the row and the second one is the index of the column. Now let's talk about this in more details. Have a look over here. This is our two dimensional array. So we have a variable that is called numbers that references this array. This array has two elements. The first one is this array and the second one is this array. Now, each of these elements has an index, zero and one. So this is the index of the first row or the first array, and this is the index of the second row or the second array. So suppose that I want to access this element. So first of all, I have to access this array over here. So to do that, we will have something like this. We will say numbers sub zero. So I'm accessing the first element of this array. 
So this will give me this element over here, which is this array over here. Now the elements of this array has some indices, 0, 1, 2, 3. So to access the first element, I will use the index 0. So to access the element 5, we will have something like this. We are accessing the first element of our 2D array, and then we are accessing the first element of this element. So we access the array, and then we access the first element in the array. And this is it. So to keep things simple, when we want to access an element inside a 2D array, we will use the index of the row of this element and the index of the column of this element. Now let's have a look at this example. I'm declaring a 2D array of integers that is called integers. And it is an array of two rows and two columns. So it will look like this. First of all, we have some brackets, right? So this is our array. Inside this array, the first element is an array. And the second one is also an array. This is the number of rows. Now in the first element, we have two elements that are equal to zero because the default value for an integer in an array is zero. And also in the second array, we have two elements. Now over here, I'm accessing the first array and then the first element of this array. And I'm assigning it to be equal to three. So the array will look like this. We access the first element of the array. So we have this array. And after that, we access the first element of this array. This is why it is equal to three. After that, I'm accessing the second element of the first array. So this element over here will be equal to five. Now we are accessing the second array, as you can see. The first element is assigned to be equal to 10, and the second one is assigned to be equal to two. And as you can see, the first element of the second array is equal to 10, and the second element of the second array is equal to two. And this is it. Now let's see how we can initialize 2D arrays. Have a look over here. I'm creating a 2D array of integers that is equal to this array over here. So first of all, we have these braces. So this is our array. The first element of this array is this array over here that contains two elements, three and five. And the second element is also an array and it has two elements, 10 and two. So the compiler will automatically allocate two rows and two columns for this array. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.